Keeping nasogastric feeding tubes securely in place is essential in critical care. Bridling the feeding tube with the core grip bridle kit works by anchoring the tube on the verma bone with string. The bridle kit should be used with a 14 French feeding tube. 14 French tubes are the standard size in critical care to allow easy suction and feeding without blockage. The bridling will be performed using two poles found in the kit bag, one solid yellow pole and a white pole with inline string. Both poles have strong magnets on the end that will help them connect. In the test kit, there is a safety pin on the end of the white string. This is only to make the test kit reusable. Lubricant is supplied in the pack. It is usually required, but not with the test kit. The clip provided can be used to secure the bridle string to the NG tube. The clip alone is not enough to secure it, and the string will need to be tied as well. Before starting, you should check for anatomical abnormalities, such as nasal septal defects, and also ensure that there is no history of fractures to facial bones or the base of the skull. The aim of the first part of the procedure is to connect the magnets on the end of each pole behind the nasal septum in the nasopharynx. To make this easier, bend each pole inwards, keeping the numbered side on the outside. You can use the numbers on the side to ensure they are both inserted to the same depth. It can also help to take the magnet string slightly out of the white pole. This will help it connect easier in the nasopharynx. Inserting one pole at a time is easier. The poles are inserted with the aim of placing the magnets in the nasopharynx. Estimating the correct depth is usually a matter of trial and error, although the depth is usually greater than 5 cm. Once you feel that they are connected, lightly pull the yellow pole out and the white string will follow. You will now be left with the string anchored on the verma bone. Now you can insert the NG tube. It's easier to insert the bridle before the NG tube as the NG tube can be obstructive to bridling. Next, the string can be tied and clipped. You may wish to wait until NG position is confirmed on x-ray before committing to tying your bridle and using a sticker in the interim. Tying technique can be practiced using standard string and a model nose. The initial knot should have a good amount of slack. It is essential for there to be at least one centimeter between the first knot and the filtrum to prevent pressure sores. Following the first knot, the string can be tied around the tube in a crisscrossing Roman sandal-like pattern. This should be tied very tightly and multiple knots are required to keep it secure. The clip can now be applied. This should be attached far away from the patient's face to prevent pressure sores, particularly in patients who will need proning. The plectrum device can be used to remove the clip.